<sighs> Welcome to the late night discussion piece segment on my channel that I just made right now. This isn't a normal running theme, but if you like it, maybe it will be. Drinking a White Claw because I'm a basic bitch. Today we're talking about something that's a little more controversial. More controversial than politics. The Last of Us Part 2, alright? It's coming out in a few weeks. They just dropped a new gameplay trailer and it looks phenomenal, alright? We're going to talk about that a little bit and then we're going to um, discuss the game as a whole and how I feel about it. Well, spoiler, I feel really strongly about it. I plan on picking it up. Well, looks great, right? But let's talk about the gameplay trailer first. Um, few things that really stood out to me other than, you know, everything. Looks like it's stellar, top-notch quality. Probably one of the most polished and detailed games of this generation. Just like the previous Last of Us on PlayStation 3. It's crazy how good it looks. But um, a couple of things that stood out to me would probably be the animations um, look very realistic. The motion capture obviously is really good, but the thing that really looks good is when they transition from like a cutscene into the actual gameplay, and it looks just as good in the actual gameplay. There's a lot of variety in the animations when it comes down to um, like your stealth kills or whenever you're fighting against somebody or shooting somebody. It all looks really dynamic. There seems like there's a lot going on there. It's not just like the same two, three animations that are playing over and over. Of course, we'll have to see this, how it looks, how it really looks when it comes out. But as of what we've seen in the gameplay trailers, looks great. There's a lot of gory little details that I really like. Like when you cut somebody's throat and again, whether it's in the gameplay trailer or in the actual gameplay, not the gameplay trailer, like the cutscene. you know what I mean? Like when you're interacting with somebody in a cutscene. That and the actual gameplay of you actually doing it looks pretty much exactly the same. And you'll see like the blood squirting out of them and it's really detailed and it's gross, but it's awesome. <sighs> really looking forward to it. Um, the voice acting and the environmental sound. And I mean, I could just go on and on about how good the graphics and everything are, but the gameplay just looks top notch. It definitely harkens back to the previous game. Like even when you get detected, it plays like the same sound when somebody is... Um, caught you but I noticed that the AI seems like it's really dynamic like even more so than the last game where they'll call out if you get detected they'll let um, the people in the area know where you're at or they'll say she's over here or you can um, when you grab somebody you're kind of like telling them to shut up before you kill them and it's it's great and then the death sounds are obviously very very gory um, the whole game kind of has a darker undertone than the first game. The first game's really dark, right? But, the, like, the actual color palette in the game seems like it's toned down a bit. And I think it matches the theme really well. But, oh, it seems like it's no secret that a lot of people aren't looking forward to the game now because of the story spoilers that were released. And this has been talked about blah, blah, blah. I feel like I'm in the minority at this point, unpopular opinion. I don't care, dude, because here's the thing, right? Like, let's say the story has a really bad ending, or it ends on a cliffhanger, or all the main characters die, they take the easy way out, whatever the case is. You still have an entire game here, right? It's not like a movie where all of the writing has just gone down in the toilet because of the ending. I'm not sure if you could say that happens, but, like, um, you still have a whole game to experience. Like, the game looks stupidly polished, right? They've spent years developing this, and I'm interested to see how it plays, because, like, while the original Last of Us story was great, I really enjoyed the gameplay. I enjoyed the detailed encounters that you experienced when you got into a new area and you had to sneak around. Or you had a gang of people sneaking up on you and you had to tactically figure out how to take them out. And that's what makes a game really good. And there looks like there's going to be a lot of good game here. And I can understand why you may be disappointed in the story. Not getting into spoilers and I haven't really looked into it too deep myself because I don't want to know. Even though I kind of think I have an idea of what happens. But I'm pretending that I don't. Something to do with golfing. <laughs> Not getting into it. But story aside, I'm still looking forward to the entire game that's going to be on offer here, right? We got a whole ass game, right? 
I mean, this isn't a Kane and Lynch situation where the entire game fucking sucks, and then you don't even have a decent story to back it up. Like, not even a mediocre story to back it up. Ooh, we got on the plane and we left. Game's fucking shit. But in The Last of Us, part two, it's going to be a really solid game. This is a AAA game that's had a lot of money and a lot of love and time put into it. And I feel like there's people just saying, I'm not even excited for it now. I don't want nothing to do with it. I'm going to go play Ghost of Sushi or something, right? That's another cool game that um, is coming out. Not personally looking forward to it because I've been looking forward to The Last of Us for a long time. And I'm going to pick that up and maybe I'll get Ghost of Tsushima down the road. That's not going to be a day one purchase for me personally. I'm one of those people that have to spend their $60 wisely, right? And um, it's going to be on The Last of Us, if anything. But what do uh, you guys think of The Last of Us? Um, Is this something you've been looking forward to? Have you paid attention to any of the spoilers? Have you watched the spoilers? Did it just completely ruin it for you? Because there's been people that have said, spoilers have ruined it for me. I'm not even excited for it. I'll pick it up down the road or I'm not even going to pick it up. Then there's people that are like, I don't care. I still want to play the game, dude, because there's a whole game there. I'm going to do that because I want to experience the game. I played through the original Last of Us like two and a half, maybe three times. I love it. So there's nothing that can convince me not to play this game. Tell me what you guys think and... God, sorry, I got too much of this carbonation in me. If you enjoy discussion pieces like this, I'm going to be dropping um, me and Robert's podcast, Games and Gains, episode 4 this weekend, so be sure to check that out. And um, check out my other videos while you're at it. The Splinter Cell video didn't do too well, even though I was really hoping it would, so if you have any interest in a Splinter Cell video, go check that out if you haven't seen it, especially if you're sub to me. That's some fresh content for you. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one. It's been T. Later.